What's up, my name's Tech Nubber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I've got yet another Techno account switcher video for you. In this video, I'll be showing you how to switch Discord accounts really quickly on your computer. While there are really limited cases to why you'd want to switch Discord accounts really fast, one of them that happened previously was the huge Epic Games Discord giveaway where you can get three months of free Discord Nitro. People are creating tons of accounts and to switch between them quickly, you might want to use something like this. It is something you could do, though this is more centered towards those with multiple accounts, let's say a business account and a personal account that you'd like to swap out on the main Discord client. While there is a Discord PTB client that you can install as well to have two versions of Discord running at once, if you have a couple of accounts or you just like to keep them in one, how exactly do you do it? But with that long explanation out of the way, usually you'd have to log out of Discord and log back in. With the Techno account switcher on multiple platforms, including Steam, Epic Games Origin, and now Discord, you're able to swap accounts without the need for a password or even two-factor. So without further ado, I'll quickly show you the program, then I'll show you how to download and install it, and of course, how to use it in depth. Note that it is a fully open source piece of software, so if you don't necessarily trust it, you're more than welcome to read through the source code, verify it for yourself, and then compile it on your own computer. You're more than welcome to do that. Right over here, I've pulled up the account switcher. I'll simply open up the Discord section, and you can see a couple of accounts already stored in it. Technobo and Troubleshoot. Both of them I use as business accounts. One of them I use for disco tutorials, and the other one I use for chat, etc, etc. As you can see, it's even got my animated icon from Discord. Anyway, I'll go ahead and pull across Discord over here, and as you can see, I'm currently signed into my Technobo account. All that I have to do to switch to another account is open up the Techno account switcher, double click on a different account over here, it'll save any changes from the previous account, and then immediately boot up into the same version of Discord, now set to a different account. Now unfortunately it opened on my other screen, so I had to pull it across. Anyways, now that I'm here, let's switch back to my main account, which isn't Troubleshoot. So I'll double click on Technobo, Discord closes, immediately opens right after, and then boots up once again, this time logged into a different account. It really is that simple. In this video, I'll show you how to install it, set it up, and more importantly use it, as this is different to the other account switches on this platform. Steam and Battle.net, for example, automatically detect accounts on your computer. Other account switches need you to enter some details manually. However, the Discord account switcher is a bit more in depth, and that's exactly why this video is here. If you're not specifically new to this platform, but you're new to the Discord account switcher part of it, this is something you should definitely watch. So to begin, let's go ahead and download the Techno account switcher, which you'll find a link to in the description down below. As I mentioned previously, this is a completely open source piece of software. You're more than welcome to read through the source code, verify that it's safe for yourself, and build it from code if you don't necessarily trust my builds. On this page over here, you'll see a whole bunch of information a quick guide on the account switcher, as well as different screenshots and some other useful bits and bobs. What we're going to focus on to install the actual program is the download button over here. Simply click it and it'll open up a new page. You'll see the latest version. You'll be able to scroll down and select one of the versions down here. The 7z and .zip are exactly the same. They're just portable versions of this program. And right below it, we have the installer, which most people will be using. If you'd like to plop it onto a USB, you're more than welcome to download either one of these. Though for the 7z, you'll need 7zip. It's exactly the same as the zip, just half the size. I'll go ahead and download the installer and run through that in this video. This is definitely what I recommend you do. Clicking the installer, we have this window over here. I'll click next, agree, next, install, and then wait for it to finish. Upon completion, you'll see a window like this pop up. Basically, it's going to install the missing runtimes if any are found on your computer. For me, I already have all three of these installed, so it won't automatically do anything. Upon hitting any key to continue, it'll open up the Discord account switcher and we just need to close out of the installer here. Cool. Now the software is completely installed, let's start using it. So to add Discord accounts to this, unlike the Steam platform up here that just detects accounts on your computer, you will need to add them manually. The first time that you click this window, you'll see this pop up over here asking you to enter a password. Note that this isn't your Discord account password, instead this is a password for the Techno account switcher. Do keep this safe. Why am I asking you for a password here? Well, it's the only platform that does it so far in the Techno account switcher. If you didn't know how this program works, basically it goes into the Discord files and copies out certain files and folders that it will then swap out for other files and folders from other accounts that it stores in its own folders. In between swapping them out, it'll simply close and reopen Discord. That way, it'll simply close on one account and reopen on another, thinking that all you really did was a PC restart. That's all this program does for all of the different platforms, though in slightly different ways. 
What we need to do here is enter a password because one of those files that this program copies out, or rather a few of them, contain your Discord token in plain text. If you download malicious pieces of software, they'll go into the Discord install directory and look for these certain files that contain your plain text token. Upon grabbing it, they'll simply have access to your account, which is absolutely terrible and a huge concern. I'm not too sure why it's kept as plain text inside of your own Discord folders. Automatically, that's what they've made the system to be. I guess that if someone had access to your files, they could probably do a lot more than just open up the actual Discord client itself and start sending messages. Anyway, outside of the scope of this video, my program copies those files into a cache folder and swaps them out for different folders and files from different accounts. Something I'd like to do is secure those files. So what it does is it encrypts those sensitive files that contain your Discord token, meaning that if someone were to grab that folder with all of your cached Discord accounts inside of it, it would be completely useless unless they had your password. So I'd recommend you set one here. And in fact, you have to in order to use the Discord account switcher. I'll set it to just four simple letters. It doesn't have to be too difficult. There is a question mark over here that you can click that'll open up the project's GitHub page with tons of information on every different account which you built into it, as well as the Discord platform that's way more detailed than the other platforms because there's a ton that goes on here. Now that I've set a password, I'll click OK and we're ready to go. You won't need to enter it again until you restart the account switcher completely. Upon doing so, you'll be prompted to enter your password as such. I'll enter it once, and once again, it'll remember it until the program is closed. Awesome. So to begin, how do we add Discord accounts? Well, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that when you open up Discord for the first time on a computer, the first thing it does is open your browser to see if there's a logged in account. And if there is, it'll copy the details from there into Discord, locking you in. While that is useful, that is something that breaks the functionality of this program. If you click add new, it'll simply close and restart Discord, asking you to enter a brand new username and password as you'll see here. But of course it did open a browser on another screen, trying to grab information from a logged in account there. What you need to do is make sure that the primary web browser that you use, in my case, Chrome, isn't signed into discord.com or discord.gg. I'm not too sure which website they use. Anyway, just make sure you're not logged into Google. That way, when you click add new, you'll actually be able to enter details rather than it simply grabbing the account that's already logged in. When we see this page here, simply log into your Discord account as you would usually. It hasn't changed any of the Discord files. It's just removed the ones that keep your account information and it'll swap them out later on. You can either use the scan with QR code to log in or enter your username and password, which I have to do for one of my accounts. For my main account, I'll just be scanning in the QR code. There we go. And I'll click accept on my phone and I've logged into my account as per usual. Something you do need to keep in mind with Discord is unlike other platforms, you will need to close Discord completely and reopen it in order for changes to save. So if I were to close it completely using Task Manager, my account wouldn't save and upon next opening Discord, I'd have to log in again. What you need to do from here after you've logged in is locate the Discord icon in your start bar, right click it and then click quit Discord. Upon doing this, it'll save all of your settings and the account that you're currently logged into. If I reopen Discord, you'll see I'm still logged in as you would expect. This is very important because if you skip this, you'll have to log into your Discord account again and the account switcher won't work for that account. So now that we've signed into Discord and we've closed it using our start bar, we can save it into the account switcher. So I'll pull it up and then click save current. Now here you can do one of two things. You can enter a username and click add and it'll add as such, allowing you to switch to and from it but this hasn't exactly grabbed my account's profile picture or my name. What we can do is right click forget to get rid of the account and then click save. This time, instead of entering a username, click the copy button down here to copy a bit of code that we'll be pasting into Discord. If you get confused, you can click the question mark right next to it. Open up your Discord client and then hit Control Shift I to bring up the developer console. If you don't see this, click user settings in the bottom left, scroll down and head into advanced, and then make sure that developer mode is turned on. Upon doing this, control shift I, you'll be able to head across to the console tab where you'll be warned about pasting things in here. While yes, pasting things in here can grab your token and other things like that, you shouldn't do it if you're told to paste things in here. This project is once again open source and all it does is pull up the settings menu and grab your username and your profile picture. In fact, it won't work if I have streamer mode enabled. 
I'll paste it in here and you'll be able to read through the code for exactly how it works. I won't go through the details of this here, but upon hitting enter, it'll pull up the settings window and it'll tell you error if you have streamer mode enabled. What you need to do is disable streamer mode temporarily or close the recording software that you're using to add an account. I'll paste it in again and hit enter. This time, it'll pull up the settings window, close it, and you'll see Techno Account Switcher, Success. It's now copied some information that contain my image and username. All that I need to do is head back into the Techno Account Switcher and paste it in here. As you can see, Techno, colon, followed by a link to my avatar, a pipe, and then my username for Discord. I'll click Add Current, and upon doing that, it's now saved my account with the appropriate name, and of course, my animated profile picture right off of Discord. Awesome. From here, Let's go ahead and click add new, which will then close my Discord client and open it up again, asking us to sign in. This time I'll sign in with a different account. And there we go, I've now logged into Troubleshoot. What I'll do is right click the icon on my start bar, quit Discord and start it up once again to make sure that settings have actually saved. Note that if you do change settings, you'll need to restart Discord as well. What does that mean? Well, use the settings, then something like the voice and video section, key bindings, etc., etc you'll need to make sure that you close this cord completely in between swapping accounts. This is incredibly important, as once again, it only saves your details when you've restarted Discord. So if I adjust things here and swap accounts, it won't save. I'll need to close out of the menu, close out of Discord completely using my start bar, and then open up Discord once again. It does sound like a lot of work, but I very rarely find myself changing user settings. You only need to do this once per account. Awesome. There we go, now it's saved my account settings. Let's go ahead and reopen the Techno account switcher. Once again, I'll click save current and I'll click copy. I'll reopen the developer console with control shift and I, click the console tab at the very top and then paste it in and hit enter. Once again, streamer mode is enabled. I'll disable it, paste it in, and then it's copied details relating to my account. Reopening the account switcher, I'll paste it in here and then click add current. Now we've got both of our Discord accounts added. Let's go ahead and double click my first account, Technobo. Upon doing this, Discord will close and reopen. This time I'll be logged into Technobo, my main account, rather than my alt account with everything still set in it. Note that if you do once again, change account settings, you'll need to close and reopen Discord in between saving it. So I'll change settings here. I'll close out of this window, right click the Discord icon, quit, and reopen it if I'd like to continue using it. Note that after changing settings, you do need to click save current and it should detect the account that you're currently signed into. Let's double click troubleshoot, Discord will close and open to that Discord account as simply as we remember. Here we go, troubleshoot. I'll head back to the account switcher, Technobo, and once again, it switches happily. Awesome. Something to note about this program is that the Discord account switcher section of it is still very early in development. While it does work, you may sometimes be logged out of accounts and you'll just need to log into them again. When you do, close Discord as we did before, right click, quit Discord in your start bar, and then click save current when you reopen Discord next, making sure you're still logged into. Sometimes you may be asked to log in once or twice, though that's only happened once for me when I reinstalled this from scratch. So if you find that it's not switching accounts properly, just make sure to click add new, sign into your account, close and reopen Discord, and then save the account again. That should completely fix it. Now, of course, something a lot more interesting about this is that this program can actually save you hard drive space and somewhat protect your privacy. As you probably know, you can see the cached images and videos that Discord saves for you temporarily. Whenever you're looking at thousands of memes, it does save them to your hard disk, at least temporarily. If we click the settings button in the bottom right, we can of course theme the program among other things, but at the very bottom, you'll see clear Discord cache. This is a very interesting bit of tech, as when you click it, it'll simply run through the cached files on your computer and remove them from Discord. Basically, it's a bunch of memes, images, videos, whatever else you were looking at in Discord is saved to your hard disk and then basically stored there. The first time that I ran this, it deleted about 3000 files, saving me just under two gigabytes of files. That is a ton of space that I saved just by clearing cached images left inside of Discord. It's pretty simple. Now, of course, there's a bunch of other features that I won't really go into here, but one of them is right-clicking and creating shortcuts to your desktop 
that you can then double click to switch accounts. It's really that simple. Among other things, such as protocol integration, you can use this program with other programs integrating them, such as the Wox launcher, which a user built the Steam account switcher into relatively recently. It's really cool and this project is really taking off. I'm actually really proud of what I've made here and I'm really happy with the community that is slowly building up. But anyways, huge long winded video out of the way, the Discord account switcher is by far the most in depth account switcher here, requiring you to do the most. Other account switchers are super easy and nowhere near requiring this amount of effort. I'd highly recommend you check out these other account switchers that are also built into the software. And of course, you'll find links in the video's description if you're confused about anything. As I did mention earlier, this project is very well documented on GitHub. So if you're confused with absolutely anything or you'd like to learn more details, head across to the Techno Account Switcher and click the Wiki button at the very top. You can read through a bunch of documentation on how it works, among other things for all of the different platforms, building from source, etc, etc. Of course, something like this does require your trust as it does manage your accounts. That's exactly why this project has to be and is open source, meaning anyone can add to it. And if you'd like to, I'd really be happy. Some people already have. But anyways, that is about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno, be here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.